Hello everyone, welcome to my High Celebrities News Channel. The story for today is Mork Mindy star Conrad Janis has passed away at age 94. His business manager, Dean A. Abaddon, confirmed Janis died on March 1 in a statement to People. Abaddon said the actor passed due to organ failure from old age. Janice appeared opposite Robin Williams in the sitcom Mork Mindy, playing Fred McConnell, the father of Mindy McConnell, played by Pam Dorber, in 70 episodes from 1978 to 1982. A spin off of Happy Days, Mork Mindy followed the antics of an alien named Mork Williams, who lives with a woman named Mindy McConnell. Janice passed just six months after the death of his wife, Maria Grimm, who died in September 2021. Conrad and his wife Maria were clients of mine for over 35 years, they were two of the nicest, respectful, and generous people I know, Abaddon said in the statement. I have many fond memories of Conrad telling me stories from his past, he was an amazing man that led a truly amazing life. Janice was born February 11, 1928 to Sydney and Harriet Janice, well-known art collectors and gallerists in New York, according to Deadline. His acting resume spans from the 1940s to 2012, his career began in the mid-1940s, when he landed a role in the 1945 production of Dark of the Moon. It would be the first of 12 Broadway shows he would appear in during his career. His career on Broadway included roles in 1957's A Visit to a Small Planet and a 1969 revival of The Front Page, according to The New York Times. He also starred in the 1945 wartime comedy Snafu, followed by roles in Margie, The Brasher de Bloom, That Hagen Girl and Beyond Glory. The actor also had roles in Murder, She Wrote, The Cable Guy, Baywatch, L.A. Heat, Frasier, and Bad Blood. In addition to his work as an actor, Janice was also an accomplished jazz trombonist who performed with the Beverly Hills Unlisted Jazz Band, even at the peak of his Mork Mindy fame, according to Deadline. According to the New York Post, Janice was a voracious listener of trombonist Kid Ory and his New Orleans jazz band in the 1940s, leading to his lifelong passion for music. In the course of going eight or nine months and listening to him every night, I inadvertently memorized every one of his solos, he said in an interview with film historian Alan Kay. Road in 2012, when I finally got hold of a trombone, sometime later, I started playing and could play, very badly and stumbling, but I had it in my ear. Janice, whose character managed a music store on Mork Mindy, said he regretted not being able to play his trombone on the series. The producers wouldn't go for it, the actor told the Albany Democrat Herald of Oregon in 1990, according to the NY Times. We had a really cute script where I got together with my old Dixieland jazz band, but they didn't think it was funny enough. Once Janice's father Sidney Janice turned 90, he relinquished his gallery, the Janice Gallery, to Conrad and his brother Carol, according to the NY Times. He was first married to Vicky Qualls, whom he eventually divorced, followed by Rhonda Copeland. They also divorced, he married his third wife, Grimm, in 1987, according to the NY Post, he is survived by his children Christopher and Karen, two grandchildren and two great-grandchildren. Fans paid tribute to the actor on Twitter after news of his death broke. broke.i.p.to Another talent man, Conrad Janis was a jazz trombonist and actor who played the role of Mindy's father on Mork Mindy. But, he also led the Beverly Hills Unlisted Jazz Band for a while and worked with my father down at Drum City and Clover Studios, tweeted one fan. Ah damn, hashtag RIP to an old friend, Conrad Janis, father on Mork Mindy much more, dies at 94. I knew Connie for years. Big flirt. Funny, talented guy, another tweeted, very sorry to learn that Conrad Janis has passed. Always a classy character actor, best known for Mork Mindy, but appeared in a host of other things as well and someone you would always recognize, another posted. That is all for today news, thank you for watching to my channel, please be sure to leave your comment and subscribe below for more news update.